Hey guys, last week I put out a post saying there was some cool stuff coming to the shop and I was going to put some videos up of some of the things that were, uh, some of the things that I'm doing differently and some of the kind of neat things. So I took these two pieces of maple burl, which came from Oregon or Washington State, out of the oven. They are 100% dry, they're zero moisture content right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast them or, or stabilize them in cactus juice resin. And I'll show you why I do that. So this is a blank of resin and maple burl. This is local maple burl. And when it comes off the lathe, you cannot feel the transition between the burl wood and the resin. But as it takes on moisture, the wood will expand a little bit. And of course, the resin doesn't take on any moisture. And you can feel this transition, and I don't want that. So I want it not to move ever. And so by stabilizing these burls, they will not move. They'll have the same properties as the resin. So put these into a pot here. If I can get them in. It's going to be a tight squeeze. All right, there they are. Okay, so what I'm going to use to do that is called cactus juice, and it is just a stabilizing resin. It's a two-part. You dump the activator, the entire contents of the activator in this gallon. Once you activate it, it's good for six or eight months before it goes bad. What we need to do is completely submerse the burls in this juice. top by quite a bit. I'll put some weight on it because they'll float if I don't. There, I can't come out. Okay. This is just a vacuum chamber. Five gallon vacuum chamber. This goes down in here. lid in. I'm going to turn the vacuum pump on here in a second and show you what it looks like. But uh, it's going to be loud when I turn that on for a second. But what it does is it pulls all the air out of the burl wood and when it gets done bubbling, which you'll see the bubbles here in a minute, once it gets done bubbling you shut it off. If it took six hours for the bubbles to stop then you let it soak for six hours and all the resin goes in where and displaces where the air was. Then you put it in the oven at 200 degrees for three hours and cure this and then it'll be the same uh, properties then as the resin, it won't move. So I'm going to turn this on so you can kind of see how much, how much uh, air is in these. So you see there is the air coming out of that wood. Is a mercury vacuum. The lid just sits on the top and the silicone rim on it, it just that seals as it pulls down, it just seals itself.
not as much exciting as it is interesting to see how much air there is in that wood. So this is going to run for, I honestly don't know how long, it might be a couple hours, might be five or six hours. This is the first one that I've done, so I thought I would share. And we'll uh, put up another one when they're done to show you how much resin they've absorbed. Thanks for watching.